welcome back again rum lovers jammy with ready set rum and our favorite co-host is back again Rashan, aka rum shan all right so Rashan is back as you guys know went to new york a while ago and this was one of my pickups the gong and wolf number two guyana all right so love the bottom love the presentation love the front the, you know they show the giant waterfall that's in guyana is one of the biggest waterfalls in the world or the widest or something like that so definitely showcases all that guyana has to offer i love the presentation very beautiful presentation yeah john Wall. yeah it's, it's really yeah. nice i think trinidad or i think trinidad has a pan a steel pan playing or something i believe so because this is the the second bottle yeah, of a three two. bottle collection yeah. the first being barbados right the second being guyana and the third being trinidad which is surprising to me that they went with trinidad barbados and guyana and not like i thought they would have gone either or between trinidad and barbados and then probably jamaica as it did I, I i i thought they would have went that way too yeah. but or well, at least bring a fourth one and bring Jamaica as well. They should have. They you should know, have. To accept Jamaica is kind of odd. It's kind of odd. It is. It is. But who knows the reason? Maybe there's just too much. Because then there's a lot of Jamaicans on the market. A lot of Jamaican rums on the market. Yes, there is. You know, so to come in with a Jamaican rum, it's kind of like being redundant. You know, there's three different distillers. There's four different distilleries. Several. No, well, four, three different. Four different companies. Yeah. Right. Then right. six distilleries. Yes. And then there's so many other little private labels of Jamaican rum. So maybe that's why they didn't go that way. But definitely, very beautiful presentation. I love the bottle. The bottle is just like, the bottle very caught me from a long time ago, right? And they have here Jean and Wolf luxury rums on the back, right? So that's how that looks like that. Black top, nice, pretty label and information on the back talking about you know how, how way back this whole concept came from from the 1800th century and coming through the caribbean to um new orleans and all that kind of stuff so big backstory on the back you guys could go on their website and read that we don't really want to get into it definitely want to you know start pouring get the rum to air out a little before we start okay. drinking right i think this is the first video of the day pour seeming a little heavy you know what you know you gotta warm yourself up right yeah all right so from Grenade, from guyana they didn't see which still right no there's no uh there's no particular still or how or which rum come from we still or how it was blended right they just say zazarak their master blender blended it so maybe they're picking up from different stills and they're blending it to get what they want they don't give an age statement yes um, no age statement but um it, it was reported on a, a fat rum pirate that uh, it's aged up to 15 years old so mm. yeah and also no sugar added at least by sazerac all right so no sugar added um by sazerac they be clear we're gonna have to taste to see if because i don't think like i don't think what they call themselves diamond distillers gonna be just adding sugar to barrels in the in, in the warehouse like that like that just doesn't make sense to me no that doesn't so but they made the distinction so we gotta kind of look into that um but definitely it's an age up to 15 years so yes a blend but this was only for 34 dollars 33 dollars i can't remember now i bought it i mean yes, i think it. that's the price for it it's about uh yeah somewhere in the mid 30s yeah 33 34 dollars what i paid um so definitely there's some younger rums in there definitely probably some eights and fives or whatever um but you know i 43 percent alcohol you know it's a little bit more than 40. Yeah, it's a bump up bump up and i love the color the color is yeah it looks really nice like it does. Was, at the price point i was wondering if it's gonna be cheap mixing rum or sipping rum Right, I, I'm really not sure at this point, and you know, today we'll, I will let you know, like, hey, it, you know, was thirty three dollars. You could get a sipper, but you could also get a mixer, like a Doctor Bird or something like that. You know, right. So at the price point, I just wasn't sure. But today we will find out. The presentation is beautiful. The rum itself has a nice gold color. Kind of reminds me of the color of rum bar gold. You know, I don't know, just giving me that vibe. It, it, 
he does have yeah. that color it definitely does give that color a nice yeah a nice gold color it looks it looks good um look i just hold it around look at the legs the legs are just forming on the rim on the glass it's slow and it's wide i've never seen legs like this so i don't know what's going on in there but it's 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 very slow few big drops forming um so definitely good legs definitely something that you think that has a good aid statement on it for the slow speed at which these huge legs are forming it's very i don't know it's quite unique the way how the legs are forming like not only big it's also like the whole ring is coming down at the same time as well so definitely good legs on the rum let's get to the nose doesn't smell very good the nose is a bit tame a little hot a little sweet yes has a, like a brown sugar mm -hmm. brown sugar caramel molasses mm -hmm. like a burnt molasses vanilla yes wow it's a little hot it's a little hot on the nose but um, it, it's 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 very i don't know it's mild than what i was expecting from a Kind of maybe it's just like the col the the column still, like the diamond still or something more it diamond still or anything else. Yeah, all right. Seems decent so far. Seems like you know worthy of thirty three dollars or something. No, like it's nothing like wow. You know, like this should have been more. But it's not like yo, this should have been twenty bucks. Like you're not getting that either. So that's true. But you know what? But to put luxury rum on it, mm. you expect the price point to be a bit Yeah, higher. like when you say luxury rum, I would think you would have hit me with a $50 at least. Right? Mm -hmm. $50, a minimum age statement, you know, something like that. When you say luxury rum and you come at 33 bucks, like I was surprised. Like when they said, when I saw this rum first presented, I was like, yo, that's going to be at least like $45. That's what I was thinking. Right? But I didn't get an age statement. I was like, mm, okay. But then you said luxury rums. So I was just still expecting a different product to some extent, but I haven't tasted it yet, so I don't know. But like, I was just expecting more price and and more more age, like an actual age statement. That's the two things I was expecting when they said luxury rum. Right. But the presentation so far is great. Nose is decent. Let's get to the tasting. Hmm. Hmm. Unique. I get a rush of different things. Orange, bone on my throat. Sweet. A little bitterness, a little molasses. It's all over. Yeah. It's all over. Like real talk, it's like all over in flavor notes, right? Like as you're tasting, I got a quick hit to the back of my throat, a little burn. Orange, sweet, candy like flavor bit on the finish like it it's still bitter right now the, the the drink really was like just hitting all over the flavor no chart it is bitter it is bitter and it's bitter on the finish but the first sip to me was sweet i had like a, a hit of sweetness like a, a pop of sweetness and then it got bitter on the end like there's just a lot going on there and the legs are still crazy on this glass so so if you were to blind taste it could you tell that would you have been able to tell that it's a Guyanese rum? No. 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 Honestly, like, you're going to get a little bit of a size in there. Diamond, a little bit of a size. I don't know. Maybe it's more solid. Yeah, more, yeah, it's more column. And really blending some other things in there. But definitely, I, I wouldn't have been, yo, this is Guyanese. I wouldn't, but that's the thing. Like, Guyana has so many stills, that's true and they're too. so different. Like Guyana has many stills, and they all stand out from Barbados, Trinidad, Jamaica. But there's no one because they have so many stills. They and, and their techniques may be different. And then the techniques are different because they just have like different fermentation times. Yeah, but they still just produce very different taste and rums. They do. So blending, if you blend large portions of different Guyanese rums, 
you would get a wide flavor. I think that's what's going on here. Like we just have a wide flavor. We just get a, a little bit of Portmore, you know, a good bit of Visayas, mostly Diamond, maybe a little Enmo on there, and you get this. But definitely, it's a good tasting room. It is. I got it. Like is. it. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say. I was gonna ask you, but maybe we should try it with the water first before I ask that question. Right. That question should be for last. Mm. So far, so good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like it's salty. I'm gonna have weird saltiness on that little sip I just took there. Like my tongue, I'm tasting my saltiness, a brininess that I didn't get the first time. So. Last time I did the video, I said I was too heavy on the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was drowning it. Yeah, just, just, just a little thing just to open it up. That's a drop. That's why I put a little bit in the cork and then I pour from the cork. Because I never wanted it to get too over diluted. But definitely, that was salty. The second sip I had was salty. Like I said, like it's it's all over the place. Sweet, bitter, salty. I get the molasses flavor. I get some sweeter caramel notes. Yes. Oh, I'm getting a lot. Hmm. I don't know why I'm thinking like, it almost tastes, it almost smells. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like the Bacardi 10 or some, some other rum that I've tasted before. That's what it's reminding me of, but not a Guyanese rum. Really? Wow. Mm. Yeah, with that, that little water, it's um, in the heat. It's in the heat, but I'm getting, I'm tasting Maybe. more port marand. It is a kind of port marand kind of finished it. Kind of tastes like um, it reminds me of the um, but I tamed down version, mm. the Hamilton um, yeah, port marand that you have. Yeah, so that's another rum I should review. I just don't have the yes. time. Thankfully, today my wife isn't here, my babies are here. <laughs> My mother, my mother in law, uh, no one else is in the house. So, Rashawn and I are gonna knock out as many of these reviews as possible. So, reviews are coming, right? If we fall out drunk today, it's for a worthy cause. So, That's good. definitely, I'm getting some Port Moran type, Port Moran or N more type notes right there. And Port Moran. But, yeah, so, all right, so Norm, you see with the drip of water, I'm starting to believe more it's a, uh, you know, Guyanese rum. So, I think I was questioning that they were lying to us about, you know, Guyanese rums, you know, people who are in the industry. I wanted to track a lot of these things. Um, I learned some stuff from Whiskey Pete, who does Gregorius Grumps, on like how they know what cast is bought by, by certain people, like, or you were not on that video. So, there was a rum tasting with um, Austin Rum Society. Whiskey Pete is a guy who runs um, Gregorius Grumps mm -hmm. and he was saying that when people buy the cars, right, the trade, it's, it, the, the cars has a name on it, right, so like, so it has a code, so even if people try to hide who they got it from, if you're in the know and, you know, you could kind of find certain information from the seller or whatever on the cars number, so like Monkey would be MG and, um, you know different companies have their little code on yeah. the cars so even if you know something say like some some companies would sell and they would say they don't want to disclose that they sold it they don't disclose that yeah, I've seen it came from i've seen it but they would say the cars the, the the company name or whatever on the documentation for it as well i've seen it i've seen on uh some rums you just see wp right which we all know means where the part. Exactly, but you can't say where the part Right. And same thing with Monkey, you can't say Monkey if you bought it from Monkey. And so. I read yesterday about Hamden. Mm -hmm. It's on the transcontinental Hamden rum. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, I don't think, I'm not sure. I'm not, don't quote me on this, I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. But it says HD in the name, mm -hmm. which that's the code for the Hamden. I was reading about it uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some, um, I'm definitely getting more of that Guyanese special stills vibes on it but yeah a lot of companies now are trying to protect themselves um protect their names um you know they have trademarks and different things and if you don't protect your name like anyone could use it to do anything and say right. anything right so they have to do that it's not they have to. it's, it's yeah. not it's not personal against anyone or anything in the industry but like 
you as a business owner have to protect your product, right? So this guy just says, Wolf, John and Wolf just says, they got it from Guyana. We all know Guyana only has one, 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 one distillery, right? They basically accumulated all the different stills into this one thing. And you know, the master blender is very informative, very talkative, love listening to the guy. <laughs> like, no, real talk. We went on, he went through the history, he's really knowledgeable. I don't know why his name is slipping me. Very knowledgeable. He went on for several hours talking. Like, we even forgot to tell us to drink our drinks and go through the tasting notes. You have to like remind him every like 20, 30 minutes, you know, for us to get to tasting some of these samples. Um, I have all the stills. Rashawn and I, we're both new fathers, so we, we haven't gotten around to you know giving you all these rum reviews but today we'll try our best we've got a lineup coming all right That's so true. let's wrap this up what do you think about this rum it's a very good rum for the price point definitely i would definitely buy it yeah but my question is uh -huh. would you say since it's more luxury rum do you still consider it as a luxury rum i don't you see here this thing right you and i spend too much money on rum <laughs> right so there's a lot of rums uh, out there that aren't considered luxury rums so for us a luxury rum is way is way too high right for the average rum drinker uh -huh. right and the price this one like honestly like what's it like to me a luxury rum is just a word you throw around like when when you start selling rum for a hundred dollars and you put it in fancy cases to me that's a luxury rum whether or not it's good rum or not <laughs> right Right. It's a luxury rum. You put a big fancy bottle in there. You know, made, you know put it at least in a canister. Minimum for a luxury rum, a canister. They don't sell these in canisters. No. Right? So they don't like it's like they, they do. It's funny. They have this glass, very simple looking bottle, but very thick glass on the bottle, right? Which is usually a luxury rum feel. That's, That's about true. all the luxury on this rum, right? The bottle is very simple. The cork is very simple. It looks like black wood on the top here and then the fake cork in on the cork itself right so nothing really special about that right nothing it says number two on the top um john and wolf Guyanese rum boom right luxury yeah. rum on the back john and wolf on the front great presentation you know like decent presentation but to have a bottle like this no box no canister no nothing i wonder though i you wonder know, if there was it's like i don't know like to me you could have upped the price and put cases and stuff on it but to me this is a rum i could buy like regularly at 33 dollars honestly so there's a new so i've been talking to different shop owners and stuff and one guy was like you know what what exactly could i buy or should i buy this is a rum i can recommend but the issue is that for a seller to buy rums, the rum should be moving, right? You need right. rums that are moving. I don't Definitely. know if this rum is moving off the shelves. I never want to recommend things to, to, to shop buyers. Like shop buyers talk to me. I go in there, introduce myself, do videos. You see, I've been doing the liquor store review stuff, right? Just on rums. Um, I, I recommend things to them. I have no problem recommending good rums, but I also like to tell people rums that people are asking me about, right? right. So I would tell them, you know, like coconut cartel because I see it everywhere and I know everyone in my office loves it, right? And, and that's it's, something it's that, an easy that the thing. regular people regular people would you know, buy a right. time coconut cartel. Even if you're not a rum drinker, coconut John Wolf honestly is a good rum. It is I think a lot of people could rum. get behind. I think so. I think a lot of people could get behind this rum. I don't know how much you guys are moving. You know, I'm talking to the owners here, like I don't know, you guys may need to get out there and, and, and get some more stuff rolling because forty three percent Thirty-four dollars, right? It's 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 higher proof than most rums, cheaper than most rums, and presentation and stuff is good. But you guys have to get a story behind yourselves and you know get on Instagram something like. Sell you stuff. know what I think? I mean, based after based off the company that did it, um, Sazara, mm -hmm. which is a huge bourbon company, mm -hmm. and the master blender who um, blended this. Uh, I feel like it was just like a pet project of his, just mm. to like. I don't know, like try so hey, let me try something today. Right. I said, let me get some bars of rum and see what I can come up with. You know. It does have a kind of bourbon finishy thing to it, you know. I feel like maybe that's just Guyana. Because Guyana is so complex. I wonder if they try, if they use any of the um, the bourbon barrels to like finish it or something like that. Yeah, our dear special cast. Yeah. 
Yeah, they could they could import it and switch cars. Yeah, they cars could. So like a couple more months. Because they, they they have a wide selection of cars um because they own a bunch of different bourbon bourbon uh, companies. Or oh, they can sell sell them the cars down to Guyana at a discount. Sell yeah. Them yeah, yo, I want to ship my cars down to you. Put my rums in these cars. All sorts of stuff could happen. This is a good rum. Um, I wouldn't say it's a luxury rum at thirty something bucks. Um, definitely, yeah. but. But definitely a premium rum though. Premium definitely rum. a premium. How much would you pay for this bottle? Right? We already know the price. How much would you pay for the bottle? Looking at it, yeah. I think this uh based um tasting it and the bottle, the presentation. Yeah. I think it I I would I would pay 40, 40 to fifty dollars for this. Yeah, I, I, agree. I would hundred percent. Hundred percent. So they definitely good rum. You know, I don't want to tell anyone things underpriced these days because everyone want to jack up the prices on it, right? Like I did say that about some come about a, a liquor store, a particular a, yeah, a particular liquor store, and they jack up the price on us, right? So I don't want to say that about anything else again. But this is definitely a great buy, uh, a must buy, right? And buy. honestly, I could honestly, I think with some cubes of ice in this, yes, it's gonna be a must have enough because you can just sit down at this price point. I could sit and just on a regular, you know, a night to cool off in my backyard. I'll be with this bottle. Trust. And also, if if they're interested in this rum, yeah, um, Pikes is one place they could get it. Right. And also, uh, but that's where I, I got it from in New York. And yes, they do deliveries on different things. I think uh, uh, Saratoga wine. I think that's in New York also. Mm. They could uh, find uh, three the three bottle collection. Are these guys from from Kentucky? Ooh, Cesar. Yeah, 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 Cesar. Why? So they just went north, didn't come south, didn't go anywhere else. Yeah, I've never I, seen it. And I think um, it's a, uh, it's, it's in some other states, but mm. uh, that's why I feel like it was like a pet project. Right. Like he came in one day and said, like, "Well, okay, what I'm mm. gonna blend today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me lay off bourbon and let me blend some rums." And then it's like you put no. it out there. Yeah. Everyone's getting into the rum game. Um, a lot of people, a lot of companies are getting into the rum game. Rum is growing, rum is getting, you know, a better yeah. name for itself. People are pushing the no sugar added, people are pushing higher proofs. Forty three percent. Honestly, you know, I'm thinking about this and I'm thinking about comes to my mind is like Equiano, you know, that kind of yeah. price point and stuff. But definitely this is Guyanese rum, more complex to me than 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 Barbados one, but they also have a Barbados. So honestly, you know, and the Equino don't have the Barbados and the Mauritius mix, but definitely, you know, I, I want to try the other ones now. I'm happy that I started with Guyana because I just love like Guyana. You just don't know what to get with Guyana because there's just so many still. Someone says sure. they give you Guyana you're still. A Guyanese sure. rum, you can just get one still, two stills, three stills, ten stills. Like you just don't know what you get. Right, but definitely my glass is empty. This was very enjoyable. It is. This is a must buy. Yes. If not a must have, you know, like the price point is really good for it to be a must have. Like I could, you know, I and it stands out. It stands out on your yeah. You it know, stands like out. Artwork, everything. So, like you and I, we drink a lot of Appleton Eat. Yes, right. And we Appleton do. Eat is about twenty eight, thirty bucks, right? Although we find ourselves in some deals sometimes, and we stack up when we go to like you know Sam's, Sam's Club, Club in my area. We get for like twenty three bucks, right? With taxes twenty five, like like less. Like I literally bought. Two yesterday, like yo, you can't go wrong. You cannot, cannot right? be at twenty five dollars. You can't go wrong. Um, you know, but at a regular price point, you know, I think this is comparable to Appleton Eat. You is. know, and it's definitely a good rum. Like I, I, we have said enough. Anyway, guys, let's wrap this up. Let's get on to the next rum review. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't miss definitely. it because Russian and I we're going on a marathon today and drinking as many rums as possible. Uh. All right, see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>